Hey, this is Hitesh from GDPR Tracker. Today I'd like to demonstrate the GDPR Tracker and show you how it can help you become GDPR compliant. I'm aware that a lot of businesses are not even sure what they need to do to become GDPR compliant or even where to start. It's certainly causing a lot of stress and headaches. A lot of businesses are not even sure if it affects them either. If you process personal data, such as name, email address, or bank details, for example, it affects you. The GDPR doesn't care whether you're a sole trader, a one-man bank, or a large organization. So I'll show you how the GDPR tracker can help. So once you're logged in, this is the main dashboard you'll see. On the left-hand side, you'll see the sections you need to review to become GDPR compliant. The list is fairly comprehensive, but by completing each section, you'll be able to demonstrate the actions you've taken to become GDPR compliant. Due to the amount of sections, uh, I'll just walk through a couple today, just show you how it works. If we go to the personal and sensitive data section, each section is structured in a, in a similar way. So you'll be asked specific questions to, uh, around personal data, for example. You'll be asked to document your response to that question, uh, which will build an audit log, which is also used for a report, which I'll explain shortly. You can also add links and upload documents too. Where relevant, we'll also provide uh, example templates for you as well. So for example, we'll, uh, here's our uh, GDPR data mapping template, which you can download, fill in, uh, and also re-upload as well. Once you're done with the section, if you scroll all the way down, we've got a list of recommended actions where uh, you'll need to complete. This is also what drives the, the progress bar at the top. Yeah. If I go to another section, uh, let's go to policies and procedures. So here again, very similar in terms of the layout. We'll ask specific questions around uh, the, the section itself and advise on what you need to do to be compliant. So as you can see here, uh, we've provided it some more example resources, including example templates and notices, and then also recommended actions at the bottom too. Uh, and also you can you can track progress as you go along by saving as well. Not every section will be applicable to your business because it is dependent on your business. Uh, what we recommend you do is go through each section just to ensure that uh, there isn't anything else that applies. Okay, if I go to the, the document section of the tracker, this is where you'll be able to upload all your uh, uh, policies, uh, and procedures as well, just for essential location, uh, especially if you don't have a, an intranet. And you'll also be able to see a full list of all our templates and resources too. So as you can see, we provide a, a number of resources just to make it as easy as possible for you to complete. And then the next section I want to talk to you is report. So as you complete the GDPR tracker, the system will be recording all the actions you've taken. Uh, you can also download this in a PDF report, so I'll, I'll show you. What this will do is this will be able to, uh, this will be useful for you to demonstrate the steps you've taken to become GDPR compliant. So you can see that we've actually covered a lot of the sections here. So if you ever asked to do so, you can provide this report. Uh, and it will also allow you to show the measures you've taken through. So it, it has been a fairly short demo and that's deliberate because uh, we've, we've tried to simplify uh, the process to becoming GDPR compliant as well. We know how busy you are, but I think it's especially important that uh, the time is taken to fill out each section as well. Uh, and just to conclude, uh, all GDPR tracker users will have direct access to our closed Facebook group. Uh, where you'll have access to our GDPR consultants to, to ask as many questions as you as you want and need to. And we've also got a we've also got a number of new features in the pipeline uh, to help you manage GDPR compliance. And GDPR compliance is uh, not a one-off activity. It's also it's an ongoing basis, as and when your business changes, or as and when the regulations change too. Uh, thank you for your time today, uh, and I hope we'll be able, we'll be given the opportunity to help you become GDPR compliant.